In this program, what I want to do is I want to take in three sets of data. The first set contains a name, a dollar amount, and a ticket amount. And what I want to figure out is if Sally spent $12.50 and she got 100 tickets, how many tickets did she get per token? And a token is going to be 25 cents. So for every dollar, you get four tokens. So let's go over here and see how this would work using the split method that we used in the last program. So I'm not going to use a second for loop here. The outer loop is just going to run three times, looping through the three different lines. And then this split is going to split each line into an array. But because the array only contains three pieces of information, I'm just going to take in three pieces of information and say what they are. So the first piece of information is a string, and that is going to be the person's name. And that is going to be the first index of our array. So we would say split sub zero, and that should pull out Sally. The next thing that we're going to pull out is 12.5, and that's going to be the dollar amount that they spent on tickets and it will be a double value. You can hopefully see that there's a problem here. This value right here is going to be a string data type. So we have to turn it into or convert it into a double. And the way we do that is simply using the double class and we use the method parse double of the double class. Now let's convert that into the number of tokens. So it's a double tokens equals dollars times four. And then we would need to take in the number of tickets, which would be the third piece of data inside of this data set. And that would be an integer value because you can't have half tickets or anything like that. We would say int tickets equals split sub two. Split two is a string, so we're going to have to convert it into an integer. So it's a integer dot parse int and change that into an integer. And finally, we can do our math to figure out how many tickets we got per token. So I'm going to create a double value here called per token. And I'm going to take the amount of tickets and divide it by the number of tokens. And then we can tell the user and let them know how many tickets they received per token. And I want to round the value to two decimal places, so I'm going to use printf. And I'm going to say percent %s to store their name, where I'm going to put their name. And then I'm going to put in percent %.2f to say how many tickets they received. So it will say Sally received two tickets for every one token. And the first value that I'm going to put in that's a placeholder right there is going to be the name. And the second placeholder right there is going to be the per token ratio. And I want to make sure whenever I use printf, it is much like using print. I have to say that I want to go to the next line. Okay, let's go ahead and compile the program. So Sally received two tickets for every one token. Jim received 12.9. And Bob received 15.63. He must be the best token getter then. But hopefully you can see from this activity how to take different pieces of data in as a string and then use them later as a double or an int or whatever you need to to suit your needs. Now, these last couple programs and these last couple videos have shown you just an introduction into input and how to read in information from text files. It can get a lot more complicated. It can also create a lot more errors because what if some jack wagon decided to put in um, cow here or something like that? You would have corrupted data and you'd have to handle that in some way. This is by no means a way to say this is how to handle every text input situation. It is just a way to say here is a basic introduction on how to take in data 